guys, it's Janixa and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm trying something new out. Ooh, I gotta stop moving my chair around. This is like an anxious thing to just keep moving my chair back and forth, but I need to stop. <laughs> Today I want to do a nail polish tag that I saw on Nikki's channel from, and I believe her channel name is The Nail Niche. She came up with a few questions and answered them in one of her videos and I thought they were so much fun that I wanted to give it a try. So I'm gonna leave her channel link down below. Please go check out her video, subscribe to her channel. She seems like she is very cool, down to earth. Love it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Also, excuse me if I look more pale than usual. It is like eight o'clock at night and I don't have any makeup on. So we're just here sitting nice and cozy. I've got my drink and we're just gonna have a good time here. You know, getting to know each other more when it comes to nail polish and our obsession. <laughs> so Nikki named this Confessions of a Nail Polish Lover. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and read questions and we'll go ahead and answer them together. I want you guys to answer these questions in the comments down below too, okay? So that's why I keep saying that we are gonna do it because you're gonna do it too, not just me. <laughs> All right, let's get started. The first question is how many polishes do you currently have in your collection? Okay, so I actually have a number right now because I am currently putting all of the polishes that I have into an app to keep track of the ones that I have. Like my collection is so big that a spreadsheet just, I can't, I, I, I can't even wrap my mind around a spreadsheet. <laughs> so I'm using the app I Collect and it's fantastic. I can keep track of everything. I can even keep track of my swatches within that app. So I love it. And right now I have almost every, well, I do have every single nail polish that I own swatched, except for a little more than half of my Essies. So my total number right now is 2,004 nail polishes. But if I'm gonna go ahead and add my Essies, I'm pretty close to 3,000 polishes. I know that's crazy considering that I've only been collecting polishes for three years now. I know, the obsession is real. <laughs> the next question is, are you guilty of buying polishes and not swatching them for months? Of course, I mean, with a collection my size, there's no way that I would be able to swatch, you know, everything now i tried i was trying to swatch all of my essies which is well over 860 of them and i just oh i couldn't it's a task you guys to get through so many polishes so i i know before when i was first you know getting into polishes and I started buying them like crazy and I was buying them and just putting them on my shelf, putting them on my shelf and I really didn't try hardly any of them. So I have whew, probably more than half of my collection is untried, but I am currently trying to use my untried. So my ultimate end goal is to always have a swatch picture of every polish in my collection. So. <laughs> so now every time that I actually buy a polish, I leave it on my desk in this rack that you see back here and I make sure to swatch it before I put it away. So, you know, eventually I won't have any more untried polishes. That's the goal. <laughs> Question number three, do you break your no buy often? Listen, I don't have the willpower to do a no buy. I don't have the control to do a no buy. Um, so I, I just never even attempt it. But I do tell myself, hey, you know, we're, we're going to slow down this month. And we're not going to buy a lot. And I do well with that. I can't tell myself, no, you can't buy anymore. But I can tell myself, all right, you need to buy less. And that works so much better for me. The next question is, do you have trouble de-stashing your polishes? No. Um, 
with as many polishes that I still have now, I've gotten rid of hundreds of them, maybe close to a thousand. No, eh, who knows? Maybe close to a thousand. Yeah, at this point. So um, I have specific brands that I really, really love. Um, you know, SE, OPI, Lights Lacquer, 90 Lacquer, China Glaze, Zoya, you know, a lot of brands like that. And those are the ones that I focus on collecting. So I don't collect or keep the polishes that I just know that I won't love the way that I do everything that I currently own. So, so no, I'm pretty good at de-stashing. I do have a de-stash page. I'll link it down below. <laughs> Question number five. What do you think about going cruelty free? I think it's great. I think it's amazing when somebody, you know, has these values and beliefs and, you know, it's it's great. I personally don't limit myself. Like I don't tell myself you're not buying it unless it's cruelty free, but I tend to lean more towards things that are cruelty free and um even vegan and you know stuff like that so I'm leaning more in that direction but I haven't fully disciplined myself to not you know support cruelty free at all but I think we'll get there I think we'll eventually get to you know being cruelty free because we know in this world right now and sh even back then there's really no need to be testing on animals anymore so we're gonna get there the next question is, what's the first thing you look for in a polish before purchasing? That's a good question. Um, honestly, I, I don't, there's nothing specific that I look for in a polish. I just need to like it. I need to love it, you know? I need to really want it in my collection. Because as I just told you guys, I have a large collection. So if I really don't, you know, love something, then I'm not going to purchase it. So... Yeah, I guess I need to have like that love at first sight feeling with the polish in order to, to buy it. Next question is, have you ever had a nail polish break in transit to you? Um, no, but some, like the cap hasn't been closed completely and they kind of leak a little bit. But thankfully, just some nail polish remover, or acetone, whatever, takes care of that really quickly. So, you know knock on wood <laughs> that, that uh no polishes get to me broken because so far they haven't next question is when your nails break do you trim the rest down yes i don't like for my nails to be uneven they're actually shorter now because recently i had a break really bad break on my pinky finger it broke like really far down and I managed to save it for about three weeks to a month with the Orly Nail Rescue kit. But it just started to, you know, crumble up some more. So I just went ahead and, um, you know, cut it off. And then I made all my other nails the same length because it just looks funky to me when they're not the same. <laughs> We have two questions left. The next one is, do you buy a whole collection, even if you don't like all the colors, just to have it complete? Yeah, even before I, I started doing, you know, the swatching on my Instagram and now YouTube, I was buying collections, especially of brands that I really love, like Lights Lacquer and Essie, because I just felt like I needed to have the complete collection. I don't know, maybe that's a toxic trait. <laughs> But um, now I have even more of an excuse to do it with my channel and my Instagram. You know, I say, oh, I got to review this for YouTube. So I have to buy the whole collection. So, yeah, I have a bad habit of doing that. All right. The last question. If a polish name is a bit off, would you still purchase it? And by this, she means um, like if it's vulgar or, you know, anything like that. Um yeah i would still purchase it i mean i did l not lights loud lacquer actually released a polish um at the end of last year saying f 2020 and that's really what i felt about 2020 and i'm sure a lot of us did so i did buy that one um in her video nikki said that she 
would feel weird if somebody asked her, hey, what polish are you wearing? And then, you know, it's a bad word. And she's like, mm, I don't really want to say that. I totally, totally understand that with her. Um, but I, I don't think it bothers me too much. You know, as long as the name isn't like something totally outrageous, um, it, it doesn't really bother me. There we go, guys. That was the nail polish tag, Confessions of a Nail Polish Lover created by Nikki at The Nail Niche. Again, I will have her channel link down below and the questions down below also so that you could participate in the comments or on your channel if you want to also. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!